Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the second half of uh, our double. So we're talking about period two right now. And the first thing we want to do is type in algebra versus cockroach. Click on the hot math link. I'm in Google, so it should come up with the same thing you have, hot math. This comes up. If you haven't read the instructions yet, read the instructions. The cockroach will move along the straight line. Your mission, find the equation in the slope-intercept form. The y-intercept is the point where the roach crosses the y-axis. You put that right there. See? 3 crosses the y-axis. That's where it goes. To find the slope, calculate the quotient, the rise over the run. So here, you find two points where they cross. Find two points where they cross the corners. Not there. Once we have two points, you can calculate the run. One, two. Sorry, the rise. One, two. And the run. One, two, three. It's positive because it's going uphill. Now, when you're putting this in here, I'll show you when a real game is going on. Well, you see this key right here? That's the fraction key. If you're already playing the game, that's okay. And then you click fire. Beware, if 16 roaches appear before you can find the correct equation, the cockroaches win. And here it is. I'm just going to run through something quick. I'm going to, you pick a rocket, you start the game, start new game. I'm just going to do this one, and then I'm going to hit pause. Once you get that, you can hit enter for next or click on the next. I guess here I have to hit enter. Now I'm going to go. So I just killed uh, five different lines. I got them correct. So all you have to do is hit enter, which is the same as start a new game. I don't want to start a new game. Yes, you do. That's how you get to round two. Now all we have to do is the slope here. So here it's always going to go through zero for this level. It goes up to there. So the slope is just one. I click there. One, fraction bar, one. Okay, so here the cockroaches are going along. Just going to turn the volume down. And I can see that it's less than one. Okay, it's going over five and up one. So that's one fifth. So on the keyboard, I hit the one. Oh, nothing appeared here. So I make sure that I hit there, then I hit one. The one appeared. Fraction bar, five. If I hit enter, it'll shoot them. Hit enter again to get to the next one. Now let's say I can't see them very well. I click the hint, and it gives me two points that are flashing. Well, the rise is four and the run is one. So I Click next to the Y equals next to the hint, and I do one fraction bar four. Oh no, no, it wasn't one fourth. I missed. It was four over one. So I have to hit the backspace. Click for the top one. Right arrow sum behind it. Hit the backspace. It's four fraction bar one. Hit enter. It didn't like it. Go back and this happens. So I click on it. One. There we go. Fire. Now it'll fire them. Okay. So by the end of the period, 
you are going to have to show I'm going to intentionally um, lose. I'm going to hit pause and lose. Okay, so I'm going to do one more with you here. It's up three over one. So it's three fraction bar one. Now you notice I have to get where it crosses the x axis. This is negative one. So I punch in a negative, punch in a negative one there, and I can hit fire. Okay, what I didn't realize is I thought you had to lose to see the report. So I don't have to lose. You just click right on report right here. See it? Top of the graph paper, click on report. And this is what the teacher has to write down. How many rounds, the number of equations, the number of attempts, correct, and timeouts. Okay, you're not going to print it. Just raise your hand and the teacher will write this down. And that'll be your grade. I want you to get up to round five at least. Fantastic if you get to seven. Perfect if you get to B. Have a great day.